God's mighty hand will shape your life. A daily devotional message from Pastor Joseph Prasanna Kumar. Greetings to you in the mighty and gracious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. God's hand is upon us in many ways: personal life, family life, society, over our nation, and over the whole creation. Therefore, we say that God's hand is mighty. When God's hand is upon us, we experience great and miraculous things in our lives and we are comforted because of his presence even though the times may be tough today and tomorrow we will meditate on how the mighty hand of god will shape our life turn with me to 1 peter chapter 5 and verse 6 therefore humble yourselves under the mighty hand of god so that he may exalt you at the proper time before we get into the details we must understand the nature of peter When he writes these epistles he is an established apostle by this time but he considers himself a bond servant first and then as an apostle similarly peter never forgets to recall that he was peter first and simon later even in the context of this letter he considers himself that does not he considers himself as as an elder and not as an apostle it is with this humility that he is seen here addressing the elders of the church as we read the epistles written by peter we also read about a powerful claim that he had made a distinguishing factor that he was a witness to the sufferings and the glory of our lord and savior jesus christ in this background we now need to read the verse for today which reads therefore humble yourselves under the mighty hand of god so that he may exalt you in due time the message comes out very clear many of us are in various fields of life one is a student another a homemaker other is working in an office other a business person some are in god service and so on if we desire that we need to be exalted in our area of work then the advice is to humble ourselves under the mighty hand of god now let us consider the mighty hand of god Turn with me to Isaiah chapter forty-eight and verse thirteen. Assuredly, my hand founded the earth, and my right hand spread out the heavens. When I call to them, they stand together. In addition, as we read the creation narrative, we also read about the power and might of God's hand in fashioning the whole creation. What is it that fashioned this? God's own hand. Isaiah chapter forty-five and verse twelve. It is I who made the earth, and created mankind upon it. I stretched out the heavens with my hands. and i ordained all their lights let us focus on the part of the verse that describes the mighty hand of god here we see that god's mighty hand stretched the heavens this implies that the heavens were one size if i may use the word and god's hand stretched them i just want you to pause and consider the enormity of such work when we consider the enormity of such work we will begin to realize how great and mighty is the hand of god dearly beloved Today we just saw a few aspects of the might of God's hand with respect to creation. As we read the Bible, we will see more such instances where the power and might of God's hand was at work. I will invite you now to spend a few moments. Think about the aspects in your life where you need the hand of God to touch and bless. Prayerfully commit them to the Lord, and even as you do that, spend time to recount the might and power of God's hand that you witnessed in your life. It is my prayer that the mighty hand of God will change your life. God bless you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word this morning. We thank you for you are a mighty God. Because of your might, you created the entire universe and you stretched the heavens. And with that same hand, Lord, you created us from dust, from nothing. Father, we also thank you for your word. We thank you for your presence. and we thank you for that for the assurance that your hand is always with us your presence is always with us today i pray for every brother and sister listening to this message enable them to realize your hand at work in their lives in today and in the days to come may they also reflect upon the goodness of your hand in the in their past life and may they all submit under the mighty hand of god humble themselves and lord be established in whatever they do in jesus most precious name we pray amen